we kind of get closer to current time, you see more and more of these innovations kind of moving from the mechanical space, mm -hmm. right? The hardware space into the software and digital space. My name is Kirk Goss. I'm the Vice President of Consultant Relations here at WellBuilt, and today I have Jason Perrin here with me, and we're gonna walk through WellBuilt's digital strategy, our common controller platform that enables our Kitchen Connect cloud-based solutions. So without Definitely. further ado, Jason, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you do here at WellBuilt. Sure, thank you, Kirk. So again, my name is Jason Perrin. I'm a program manager here at WellBuilt, uh, working in the Tampa office. And amongst the many programs that we work through in Advanced Systems is our Common Controller platform. So we will talk about this as we go through our next 10 minutes. Fantastic. So guys, as you noticed, there, there's a lot of innovation here. We've kind of progressed from analog control, simple push buttons, to a more advanced touchscreen technology. As Jason was alluding to here in our central uh, office here in Newport Ritchie, Florida, we have a, a centralized business model here within WellBuilt, which allows us to kind of press the pause button and look across all of our brands, the entire estate, mm -hmm. to, to take advantage of some unique opportunities. So about, what, three and a half years ago, Correct. Rick Karen, our chief innovation officer, did just that. He looked and noticed there was a number of our brands kind of entering the touchscreen space and said, guys, We've got a unique opportunity here to kind of create a common user interface, a common experience for our end user operators out in the field. Let's take advantage of that. There's a number of advantages that that provides us as a manufacturer from a scale perspective, of course, but also the end user operator. Mm -hmm. So talking about the digital strategy and as each brand progresses with their own identity, we have a phrase that we call born digital. Mm -hmm. Being born digital, each brand will then pause the button on their product development to understand does this appliance need a touch screen in the first place? What functionality do we need to have on our screen? And how is it going to be used in the back of house? With that said, then it's handed off into our innovations team and we develop their platform against this common controller. So it's a common controller, but we have varying sizes, whether it's a 10 inch, seven inch, or four inch controller. But what's important is that again, common user interface and experience so that as you go and you train and you retrain and you retrain your back of house, it's just a common and enjoyable experience and it's Absolutely. intuitive for them to learn. But there's more than just the screen, right, Jason? Correct. So we've got hardware back here that's really you know, doing all the magic. So why don't you talk Absolutely. to us a little bit about what's behind there? Sure, so as Kirk alluded to, this is our common controller for the seven inch platform, yep. uh, being a seven inch screen. But what we really worked on is we, we met with all the brands starting three years ago. We looked at all the different types of uh, you know, requirements that are needed across all the brands. Absolutely. And we come up with a common set of requirements, cabling, uh, you know, user interface, software, everything that a touchscreen would need. Gotcha. So what you'll see here is if you look at the back of, uh, as you'll see in, in many of our other presentations, fryers, ovens, grills, it's the same touchscreen. Fantastic. And it's the same uh, hardware throughout. Gotcha. So it streamlines our, our supply chain as well. Well, that's fantastic. So this device here is somewhat agnostic. It doesn't know who it's going to be until it grows up and it has yeah. its chip put in the back. It Absolutely. could be a Mary Chef controller, could be a combo therm controller, link controller, what yeah. have you. So exactly. the commonality of having that one part in the back of these service trucks yeah. going in the field allows right. us to in, you know, increase our first time fix rate. Absolutely. Number one, it simplifies service. And number two, it just increases the, the operator's uptime, which is absolutely, absolutely fantastic and, sure. and imperative for us. So we talk about our digital strategy, being born digital, the device itself. So talk to us, Jason, a little bit about Kitchen Connect. What does the cloud mean? Right. What, what's, this is recording a lot of data and input for the end user right. operator. So how do we package that and what is Kitchen Connect? So going into this project, again, we had, we had two main objectives. One was common hardware, which you'll see. And again, board digital, right. the units come enabled already, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Ethernet ready. So it, it's born digital from the get-go. Nothing else needed to be added. Gotcha. What we also worked on is our Kitchen Connect and really expanding the platform of our digital space. And what does that mean? Well, what that really means is there's so much data now with all the technology advancements you're going to see over the next two days, you're going to see incredible advancements in technology in fryers and grills and ovens and refrigeration and whatnot. All that data can now be collected. And we can process that and make it really value added for our customers. Gotcha. So let's take a look at that, right? So for a lot sure. of our end user operators, it can be just overwhelming. Sure. They think about data, they think about streams of sure. Excel spreadsheets and <laughs> what kind of decisions <laughs> am I supposed to make off of yeah. this? But we take that hard work off the table for them with our Absolutely. cloud, 
with our platform and our dashboard. So yeah. let's take a look at that. If I'm an end user operator and I sign up for Kitchen Connect, what do I get to see? So what you'll see is if you look at our first slide here online, you're going to see there's three main points okay. that we can really address through our Kitchen Connect platform. And that's remote updating. So remote updating means as you have with your iPhones you know, or your Android phones or whatever, software updates can be pushed to the device. We don't need service to go in and be able to update manually, so we save service time. We can also create menus offline and then upload them to the device remotely. That's fantastic. And especially in a COVID environment, that's really important. So the old days of trucks running around with thumb drives and a $200 charge to drive menu upgrades, that's it's over be a thing of the past. It's now pushed down from the cloud. That's Absolutely. phenomenal. Absolutely. Huge. Absolutely. Huge. And then what you'll also see is um, not only that, but you will have, uh, you know, in terms of food safety. Right. We'll have food safety that, you know, we can really keep an eye on and control. And most importantly, probably most importantly, is we maintain the equipment remotely. We can see all this data. We can then keep our uptime for our users Fantastic. and customers at a maximum level. Absolutely. Equipment uptime is just absolutely key. So there's a number of innovations that WellBuilt has, has plotted throughout the, you know, their history here this digital environment. And what I'd like to just stress to our, our viewers here today is, as you're looking in your back of house and you're gonna change out one piece of equipment or design an entire kitchen from the ground up, take a second, pause, and think about what's the digital strategy for that environment going forward, right? So if yeah. we're looking at old analog appliances, they won't have the opportunity to, to reap the benefits of Absolutely. these system upgrades, pushing menus from the cloud, and what all of Kitchen Connect can do. Absolutely. So we've looked at what it yep. is. So show us a dashboard. So let's go to sure. the next screen if we can and look at what that looks like right sure. there. So from a from a mm -hmm. operator level, say this is a store, there's so, multiple appliances here. So talk to me about it. So this it. is representative of an actual kitchen in New York City with multiple well-built appliances that are connected through our cloud. Great. So what you'll see here is you'll see ovens, uh, coffee makers, holding cabinets, and you can see them all Again, they can be seen remotely. You Fantastic. don't need to be in the kitchen to actually see Which them. Which we know in COVID, when service was limited and access to kitchens Absolutely. was limited, that's fantastic. So right. that was a store level view. We can see a few appliances that we kind of triggered an alarm. Right. So let's look at it at the next level. So yep. if I wanted to go in as an operator and look at that appliance that has an issue, sure. what does that look like? So let's go to the next slide and show our, our audience here what this is. So what you'll see here in this uh, additional dashboard, this is diving into a specific unit. Gotcha. So after we look at a very high level, we can look at everything from energy usage to yep. uh, you know, uptime and everything. We can then look at specific components and see how those components are doing with respect to their useful life and at what point they may need to be replaced. Right. So you know, service calls used to be reactive service calls. A piece 100%. of equipment would go down, right, you never know. you'd have to have a call. Perhaps you'd have to come back a second time because you'd have to diagnose a problem and then come back. That's fantastic. Now we can look at these dashboards remotely. We can see which components are failing. We can then send our service fleet out with that component in hand, so, so one time visit. So to reemphasize that point, guys, is if you're still in an analog world, you're never going to be able to move out of reactive service and into a predictive service format. You're going to have Correct. to have a digital touchscreen of some sort capturing that data. Absolutely. Which is phenomenal. So how does all this data get to the cloud? Sure. I mean, let's talk about how. what's our model. What do we do as so, Kitchen Connect? Looking at the next slide. You can see we've got our appliance, and again, born digital, so all that data is ready to be transmitted. Yep. It goes to our Kitchen Connect cloud. So what does that mean? Everybody talks about the cloud. We don't know where the cloud is. The cloud's just out there. Yeah. Well, we have our Kitchen Connect team that really drives this data with our customers. So we can take all of this data. We can create the dashboard of your liking. Fantastic. So we can create those things that you want to see, Right. and then we can go forward. So all of those solutions being there, trying to make it as user-friendly as possible, answering those questions, analyzing that data, bringing new yep. value-added information so you can run your operations as smoothly as possible. That's Kitchen Connect in the cloud. And as simply as we can put it. Phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal. Guys, again, my name is Kirk Goss. I'm Vice President of Consultant Relations here at WellBuilt. I thank you for your time.